So, good morning everybody. Welcome to the finals day of the National Table Tennis Championships, Mark Bates Limited Table Tennis Championships 2022. And we have Denise Pyatt and here, here is Tin Tin Ho, defending champion from 2020. No championships last year because of the pandemic. And uh, they're all really grateful, I think, to be back and competing. Never seen so many smiles on their on the players' faces as getting together and competing and talking together again. I'm accompanied in the in the commentary box with by Emma Vickers, women's international. Emma, it's uh, great to have you. And uh, what do you think of the way Tintin's playing? Yeah, thanks, Colin. It's uh, really great to be here for the first time. I think Tintin's playing fantastic. I think she's had a good tournament so far. I think this is going to be, you know, her chance to win her fifth national title, as she said. So a really big one for her and obviously with no championship last year you know they'll be fighting even more for, for that for that prize thanks emma and here is denise pyatt preparing and her coach zolly so he's uh, coaching out of woodford green i was speaking to denise last night and she was just saying how wonderful it was to have uh, zolly back in enfield but also the england performance team up here in nottingham and the england performance team is based here at the venue at the david ross sports center part of the university of nottingham uh, emma you're based here as well so you see these players sometimes yeah absolutely i mean i've been um, playing against these players for many years and, and both these players actually based at the university and also studying here as well so so uh, yeah very familiar with them so we'll say hello to the umpire sheila walsh is uh, in charge of proceedings on this one the assistant umpire we can just see in the foreground there is jenny sanders and at the, in, the, in the rear ground there, you've got Brian Jackson, who's our official twiddler, turning over the numbers for us so the uh, audience uh, here at Nottingham can see. So they'll have 60 seconds just to, just to knock up, get a feel for the ball, feel for the table. It's amazing how the conditions can change even from one day to another. The temperature changes, the humidity changes, the actual spin on the ball. Sometimes the players come off and say, you know, it's a little bit more spinny today than it was before. Uh, but of course, it's likely to get that way across the tournament as you're playing better and better players. Absolutely. No, absolutely. And I've heard a couple of people saying that the, the conditions have changed quite a lot, even from Friday to Saturday. Um, as you said, if the temperature changes, it can mean that the ball doesn't bounce as much. Um, so, yeah, it can be difficult to adapt day to day. So, forehand drive to forehand drive, not giving away any secrets, but just uh, warming up. Denise there just catching the edge at the back of the table, practicing the length on the ball. That one just clipping her thumb. So moving across to back end. What you'll see is that Denise is playing with a shake hands grip. There's the classic back end. It's a fairly short stroke, but you can see the rapid acceleration into the ball there. Zolly behind. Home coach. And uh, yeah, so last night Denise was on the banana bread and ice cream when I was talking Is to her. Is that right? Herself ready. And you can see there that uh, Tintin famously has the traditional Asian style penhold grip, but she does use both sides of the blade. Traditionally, penhold meant you just use one side of the blade, but Tintin is using both sides there. So she's got the black side on the backhand, which is a smooth, fast, high friction rubber. And then the red side is a short pimple, I believe. You don't see many players playing with this style of play anymore. It's sort of dying out, isn't it? Yeah. So Tintin uh, certainly um, bred in uh, Paddington. And uh, her dad will be around supporting. And he's her dad's in the corner, I believe. Her dad's uh, in the corner coaching her. Lovely. Um, has been doing for, for many, many years. Always been there. Yeah. And Tintin and Denise both studying here at uh, Nottingham University. Tintin medical student and Denise is in her second year as sports rehab. And she's loving it. Yep. So. So first game, best of seven. So f a race to four games. Tintin Ho of Paddington, but now of Nottingham to serve and that first serve is enough to give her one lo one love lead immediately so you can see there the black smooth side short serve long return good attack from Tintin and just caught the edge of Denise's bat didn't quite get there in time 
So, nice start for Tintin, two off her serve. So the first two, 11 points. Two serves each. First to four games is the winner, and we'll go through to the final of the women's singles, which is the second last of our 10 matches across the day. Nice serving. Re returns the favor. Short serve, long return, backhand attack across court. Wins the point outright with that, what we call the third ball of the rally. The serve is set second shot. A bit of a change of serve there from Tintin. Yeah, Tintin has a very good variety of serves. You're going to see a lot of different serves uh, from her today. Okay, so forehand looks like it's the pendulum style of serve, but isn't always. This one is the reverse. So the ball curves away Two from Denise's four. forehand. So there's a towel break. T players get a uh, towel break every six points. Yeah, so it's Denise there, just getting herself settled. Does a lot of work on mindfulness these days. And you can see that she's, I think she's calmer than, than I've ever seen her before. Yeah, I think um, both these players have very good body language on the court. I mean, you can see uh, they're not being impacted negatively at all. Okay, so we're seeing at the start of this game, not unusual, that both players are just struggling a little bit on the return of serves, popping the ball up a bit high, allowing the server to follow in hard off the, uh, the return of serve. Tintin overall getting the best of those exchanges. I think Tintin's putting in a few float serves. I'm yeah, not and sure that's, that's that she's... A very good it looks like she's going to chop it, and she, I don't think, she, tactic, I don't think yeah. she's doing that. It's popping up a little bit, so it's quite successful at the moment. It's just as important to be able to not spin the ball and make the other person think you have than the other way around. Absolutely. Three, seven. So first to 11. Denise with a little bit of cashing up to do if she's going to take this first game. Let three, seven. It's a good serve from Denise. You're going to see predominantly backhand serve. She's got a very, very nice backhand serve. Mixes up between short uh, and long, but disguises it very nicely. So the winner of this semi-final will play the winner of the next uh, the next women's singles semi, which is between uh, Maria Sapsinos, number two seed, and Charlotte Barnsley from Staffordshire. Charlotte played very well to come through against Emily Bolton in the quarters. And so that'll be uh, up very soon. After this match will be the first of the men's semi semi-finals. And then it will be the second of the women's semi-finals. Maria Sapsinos and Charlotte Bardsley. So a bit of a comeback here from Denise. One more and then two serves to come. Couldn't quite convert that. So she's still just struggling to keep up a little bit. Four times champion, Tintin Ho. And she's only 23 years old. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Fantastic. Yeah, this is a good start from Tintin. You can see Denise struggling to find her rhythm in this first game. Yeah, the timing's not quite there yet. Um, I actually looked at the under-21 women's singles, and in the quarters and the semis, every single game went to one. The wow. second game, and in fact, every game that, the, that was won, the second game was dropped. So just because you win the first game doesn't necessarily take you that far and there's a lot of work to do but Denise will need that second game now to to stop Tintin to start to build that momentum over this best of seven Tintin's dad Paddington based and he's been with her throughout so like Denise Tintin has won under 11s un national championships under 12s under 13s cadet under 15 junior under 18 and now in for the under 21s so Tintin too old for the under-21s. Denise was in it, but she didn't win it this year. No, I believe she lost in the semi-final. Yeah, she correct? got beat by Molly. Yep. So well done to Molly Patterson there. Now, Tintin didn't have it all her own way uh, on the way here. She had to play um, last time's finalist, Mari Baldwin. Yes. And Mari did exceptionally well to get to the final last year. Uh, Mari's now uh, ranked seven in the women's, but in that quarter-final, uh, Tintin said, I'm really interested to see how Mari has developed over this last two years. Um, and in fact, she has. And Tintin find, found herself, uh, especially against the combination bat of Mari, and Time. we know that Tintin uses a combination bat as well with two different surfaces. But Mari went five love up in the first game. Yeah. And that certainly taught Tintin that she was right 
to uh, to fear Mari and to respect that w how she'd improved. But in the end, um, after winning the first game, uh, Mari, uh, Tintin was able to come back and it was a 4-1 victory for Tintin in the quarterfinal. Again, top spin, a lot of top spin serves today. So encouraging the players to play high or play long. And just like you say, Emma, that's just nice. Yeah, it opens up the rally, serve. doesn't it? Some players would prefer to start with that faster. So. Yeah, and there's the timing again. It's not quite there. High swing serve from Tintin. Oh, nearly got back in the rally. You could see Tintin running back to the table there. But uh, the ball had gone already gone slightly too long. Side spin, re side spin return. Very the surface, nice return it? there. You yeah. can see she came across the ball. Put some side spin on it. So well done, Denise. Took a chance there on that second serve of Tintin's. Now she's serving at 3-1 up. Two serves to come. Three, you two. see Denise's very high toss serve there. Um, very effective. It makes the opponent actually follow the ball up into the air. So it can be quite distracting. Yeah. So she throws it high. Not so high Not that time. time. Oh, good return from Tintin. Forehand flick. And then the flat forehands with the short pimples. The red side of Tintin. But Tintin will change it around during a rally. Yeah, that flat ball from Tintin is very, very difficult to receive. You almost have to lift it just to try and get it back on the table. That's the one. Nice and flat. Making Denise li have to lift the ball. We have to have perfect timing to lift the ball and get the length on it as well. So again, the error from yeah. Tintin there. Side's been curving inwards yeah. again, but serving off. So one those sorry. No, I was gonna say that's a lovely, lovely play from Denise. Yeah. So when players use a very high toss, do you encourage the receiver to watch the ball to the top, or do you encourage them to l to let the ball come down and keep their eyes low? I mean, different players will prefer different oh. things. I mean, some will like to follow the ball and make sure they're keep keeping track of it, <coughs> and some players will like just to stay focused on the opponent's uh, bat to see see the motion of the bat. But it, it varies from player to player. For me personally, I would probably. Um, follow the ball. Right. Four, six. And quite interesting that both both of the players here are mixing higher higher and lower throwing balls. So yes. um, that might create some doubt in the opponent as to what to watch. Absolutely, yes. There, yeah, I think Denise is, is uh, not following that high ball. Four, seven. Bit of a think for Tintin, four six down after winning the in the second after winning the first. Long push return wide from Denise gets her into the backhand to backhand rally and then she switched. But the footwork was great to go out wide of the forehand. I think she was there for the backhand. Yeah, you can see Tintin a really missed. push off on that left foot to go wide into the forehand. You've got to have very very strong strong legs to play this sport. So good comeback so far here from Denise. After a bit of a tricky first game, Tintin took reasonably comfortably. I say that and she, she uh, serves off. So there's the backspin serve. Mm, couldn't keep the third ball short. Tintin's lovely forehand flick. She's been working so hard on that. I've seen her training that in uh, here in Nottingham in the table tennis hall. Very powerful forehand flick with uh, short pimples. Top spin serve. Denise read it. This is much better, this set from Denise, isn't it? She seems to be um, yeah, much more focused and you know, able to, to return some of those more difficult shots that's from Tintin. Indeed. So we've got game so point for Denise. Yeah. Game points here. So Denise, who beat Lois Peak in the quarterfinals. A couple of close games there. So Lois won one of them in a 4-1 defeat for Lois, but she uh, 
11-9 in the fourth it was, as well as winning one. So none of these games are easy for these ladies. Game point, and that's it, 11-7. So that second game to Denise Payat levels it at one game all. So she's off to see Zoli, get a little bit of wisdom and encouragement from the Hungarian coach. He's been living and working in North London, Barnet and Wood Woodford uh, in uh, Essex. You can see there, that one really popped up. Denise did very well to get over the top of that one. She did, yeah. She's, she's played much better this set. Um, and these players, you know, they will train together most days, so they will be very, very familiar with each other's games, which can certainly be a help, but also a hindrance as well. So wonderful that they can get together and practice together in a high performance environment. Makes a difference to their games. Yeah, so we see a lot of the players, um, the female players in particular, centralized around Nottingham. Um, so the university has, um, you know, a very good um, sort of environment for players to train and yeah. also good opportunities for players to study here and receive sports scholarship as well. That's it. And Molly's here as well? I believe so, yes. So Molly Patterson and got to the final of the under 21s. I believe Mari Baldwin, who we mentioned earlier, is planning to come as well. Is so she? there'll be even more players next yeah. year. So players tend to congregate together. It's not a sport where you can just uh, be somewhere completely outside. It's so important to okay. get used to other players and their styles and the speed is not something that you can replicate without without good opponents and practice partners around to, to train with. There's a nice little edge there for Denise. She'll be grateful for that one. Long push. It was a great push. Just caught the edge of the table. And she is looking calm, confident, positive. All the things you'd want as a sports psychologist, Emma, which uh, you know something about. Yeah, absolutely. So staying in the moment, isn't it? It's not looking outside the table. It's not looking at anyone in the crowd. It's just staying focused uh, and, and being present in the moment. So Emma, you're doing uh, uh, a lot of work with the you head of research now at, uh, at the Tasking Talent. Yeah, Center. so I currently head of research. Um, a lot of the research that we uh, do is around how athletes actually combine um, sport with their education and as we know both these players are currently studying uh, as, we've, as we mentioned uh, Tintin actually studying a medical degree so um, getting up very, very early in the morning just to be able to practice um, I think she's been on placement actually in the last couple of weeks yeah yeah she'll be doing ear, no ear nose and throat and she's looking forward to ophthalmology apparently <laughs> interesting <laughs> yeah but um, well she's managing transitions during her career Absolutely, yeah. I mean, sh uh, as we've mentioned, Tintin is a very disciplined player, getting up you know, very early to play and then also playing again after her sort of nine-to-five uh, day on placement as well. Yeah. I think she does very, very well to, uh, to cope with the demands and to, to balance the training and manage to stay fresh. And she does very, very well with the limited amount of time that she has to recover well. Yep. So she's looking bright and breezy. But she's under pressure one all and three all against Denise. Of course, Denise looking for her first women's singles title. She's been under 21 champion before. Yep. Um, even though she didn't win it this year. And that would have been her last year, I believe, this year as under 21. Yep. So now she's in with the big guns. And Tintin, across all of the national age group titles, singles and doubles, has won 49 national championships. I mean which that's is phenomenal, just incredible isn't it? At her age. Still many years to come as well. I'm sure. Yeah, you can see that. The fight's there. She looks interested and enthusiastic as well as professional. That's all always great to see. And she could have had her 50th title and, uh, on Friday in the mixed doubles, playing with David Macbeth. Yes. It wasn't to be. And wasn't you were there be. watching. Emma? I was, yes. Um, so they lost to Lois Peake and Josh Bennett, who played very well. Yeah, Josh is a great doubles player, isn't he? Yes, because he, he actually won with Tintin um, in 20, 2021. 2020. Or 2020. Yeah. Yeah. So Tintin here looking for the big 5-0. She could get it in the women's singles if she beats Denise and then wins the final later against the winner of Charlotte Barsley and Maria Sepsinos. She could win it in the women's doubles. 
It'd be interesting to know if anyone has actually done that before. Does anyone have that That's many? That's a good question. I titles? don't know the answer. Our colleague Donald Parker might have something to say about Jill Hammersley Parker and her and her record, but I don't know if I don't know it off the top of my head. So nice lead opened up there from Tintin. In the old days, they'd go and get the ball each time, but now they're happy to take a new ball from the umpire and carry on. Side spin return again. Ball pops up. Denise is in. Couldn't finish it. Yeah. Rye smile. That side spin return has been very effective so far, but yeah. just not able to finish the point there. Yeah. So, of course, she'll be disappointed not to have converted that advantage and given a little bit of surprise away for next time. But anyway, back to the side spin, but this time on the serve. Let serve, so they take it again. Umpires are raising their hands if they see it. A big a backhand, backhand top spin from to, from Tintin to finish that one. Two games to one. It's first of four, best of seven. And Tintin back in the lead. Okay, Dad's always got something to say. Yeah, he's always got something to say. I mean, um, he I believe um, Charles was a very good player himself, actually, back in the day um, from Hong Kong. Yeah, and he's always got an idea of what to, what he wants to do. Yeah, very analytical with his game. Mm -hmm. Always um, writing things down during the game um, on, on his notepad. And what a great relationship they have. So Tintin nodding. She'll take in what she wants to take in, and she'll dispatch what she wants to dispatch and leave what she wants to leave. Yeah, I always think a good corner coach is someone who doesn't say too much. You don't want to overload the player with too much information. You want to just a couple of key things um, to take on board. Uh, and we really try and encourage the player. Yes. Having said that, both of these coaches are well in there, aren't they? Time. So, both players nodding. They'll take what they want from that. They're the ones that have to make the decisions in the moment. So table tennis is about very much about perception, decision making, and then execution. And it's a repeated cycle of that. You've got to read what's happening. You've got to decide what you're going to do with it, and then have the skill to do what you intended. And do all of that undercover and disguising and varying it against an opponent that is looking to see what you're doing. So if you can disguise it and vary it, put the whole thing together into a package, that can get to, get to 11 points and a match. So backhand side spin serve from the middle, as she often has. Happy to play a backhand from the middle on the return, Denise. They're following up with a backhand. And then Janice, just later in the rally, just not quite timing the ball, top edge a little bit, on the fingers a tiny bit, not quite middling the ball. Yeah, and that one was picked up quite low there from Denise. She had to lift it. Tinta knew that higher ball was coming, and she played the forehand smash down the line absolutely beautifully. Nice, yeah, I can see um, Tintin's really trying to change the pace quite a lot, actually, um, because Denise is a very, very good, consistent rally player, so she's trying to just throw her off in the rally. Yeah. Again, top spin from Denise, again, a little bit high. That one's short as well. I know that Tintin's been training on how to dispatch that high ball more efficiently, and she's doing it pretty efficiently now. Yeah, that used to be a shot that she struggled with quite a lot, actually, that higher spinny Four, one to the forehand. She'd often overhit it. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen um, Alan Cook feeding her that ball time and time again. And Tintin looking more confident now. So she's looking as good as ever. Top 100 in the world in 2018. And she, was, she was only 19 years of age at that stage. So world-class players. Backhand from the middle again from Denise, so Tintin playing into the crossover between the backhand and forehand of Denise, and Denise typically stepping across to play backhand rather than running around to play a forehand and leaving the forehand, the wide forehand open. We see more and more players doing that these days, taking backhands more yeah, towards changed, the middle of the it? table, yep. whereas previously it would have normally been a forehand. Yeah, I think the faster equipment these days probably has something to do with that as well. I believe so, yeah. Yeah. So but also technique. Players are getting just as much power with the backhand as they can with the forehand. Four, 
It was always a speciality of a few players, but now it's much more common, I think. Good rally. So Denise back in at 5 all. And I thought that was a backspin serve. Denise put it <coughs> off the end of the table. Maybe I was completely wrong. It's good disguise there from Tintin. Yeah, as I said, one of Tintin's you know, biggest strengths is the way she can vary that serve really effectively. Good return there from Denise. She's in. Again, she's frustrated that she's getting the chances, but that first attack, sometimes going a little bit high, yep. that time going too long. She'll be just be desperate to settle as soon as she can. She won't want to go 3-1 down. First to four wins, goes through to the final this afternoon. And we have 10 matches today. Then the very next match will be the first men's single semi-final. And that's going to be a cracker. Number one seed, Sam Walker, plays the only person to, the last person to win the, the men's before. Oh, what a great rally. Fantastic. Well played, Denise. Yeah, the last person to win before Liam Pitchford and, or Paul Drinkle was Andrew Bagley. But Andrew is back. He's been playing professionally for 20 years. He's back and strong. And that'll be the next match. And again, not one to miss. Yeah, I spoke to him on Friday and he said he hadn't played this event since 2014. Eight, seven. So with Liam out with a, a World TT Championship that he has to play in and Paul injured, it gives Sam a chance to win his first men's national championship. He's been in the final, I think, three times already. But here... We've got Denise playing for her life to stay in it. 2-1 down, 8-all. Coming back to the centre of the table. Again, the backhand serve. Oh, she's gone back to the backhand again. So she's thinking really carefully about where to play that, that ball. And just a few centimetres either way, she thinks, makes can make the difference. Yeah, I've noticed her moving around on that backhand set. Uh, traditionally, um, players would stand closer towards the middle, and actually that means you can get a wider angle uh, on the forehand as well. And Denise just working to pick up that, that flat, pimpled forehand. You have to have very powerful legs and just pick the ball up with that lift of your body just at the right second as the ball arrives. Very, very difficult to do. And then get over it, over the top and top spinner at the same time. It's what they train for, but it's never easy. As such, Tintin, two serves here. Oh, this is interesting now. We can see Denise with the opportunity to take the game and actually equalise. And that's it. Denise is still in it. I think she's hanging on a little bit there, but she came through. Tintin just missed that uh, first attack after the serve, the third ball of the rally. Missed it altogether. But it was a lovely half-long push just over the end of the table. A couple of points here from earlier. There you go. That's the kind of attack that Denise is looking for. She's missed a few of them like that off the fingers or a little bit too long. But just enough of them are working and Tintin's certainly under pressure when that happens. So both these players will be working towards Commonwealth Games later this year uh, in Birmingham. Um, Tintin already secured a place. Um, the rest of the team not yet selected. Yeah. So Denise will be fighting for that one as well. So two games all, first of four. So I get the feeling that if Denise starts to make those balls that she's been attempting, that she could actually be the favourite, even was, though yeah. Tintin's won this championship four times. She's had a lot of opportunities. She's obviously getting the right balls on the forehand. She's yeah. doing that lovely backhand side spin serve, which Tintin's really struggling to, to flick, to push, and getting a really nice high ball, but she's missed several of them. So if she can do that kind of final execution, having built the rally so intelligently, uh, okay. she could get her nose in front here. Level. But hard to do. And let's see what Tintin has to say about 
keeping her quiet in that respect. Great return. The serve wasn't bad. Yeah, wasn't quite in the right. Really wasn't quite nicely. in the corner, but yeah. just and he saw it so early, she didn't she? Back to the middle of the table again. Short serve with backspin, I think. Two one. And Tintin keeping it short on the return. Just Denise moving all the time to serve from different places. Never letting Tintin settle in terms of the direction the ball's coming from. The ball boys and girls. Dutifully picking up the balls at the yeah, back of the court. It's a good opportunity for them to be close to the players and yeah. to enjoy the action with a front row view. Yeah. Three, two. One of the umpires here said that they were inspired with the uh, with the uh, what was the National League set up when it was brand new in back in the seventies at Alimbra was the with the home team, and he said he took up umpiring as a result of that, and he's here now at the Championships, been doing that for twenty years. That's great. It's good to see two female umpires here as well. Uh, I know there's been a big drive recently to get more women and girls in the, not just playing table tennis, but also in roles such as uh, yeah. officiating. Coaching, officiating, yeah. Yeah, volunteers, staff. Let two, four. Yeah. And the umpires as well looking forward to the Commonwealth Games a number of them. So oh. Sheila here, three, the main umpire, just absolutely loving what she's doing. Travels around and supports the players with this role. Does it very well. What a great backhand to backhand rally. Moving it from the backhand corner to the middle of the table. Both players coping with it. And then finally, it's switching across. Yeah, and there's the a lovely forehand. backhand exchange there. Really quick over the table. Very little reaction time. Lower throwing serve. Again, the Six, three. bending the ball away from Denise's forehand. I think you can see what Tintin's doing here. She's um, actually moving the placement in the backhand corner, so playing more towards, slightly more to the middle, and then slightly wider, and she's really catching Denise out there. So Tintin extending to 7-3. Seven, and serving. Oh, sorry, no. Denise serving now. Not looking troubled, though, Denise. She's keeping, it, keeping her head together beautifully. That's what she wanted. A little bit of top speed on the serve. The flick again from Tintin, but that time off the end of the table. That one's popped up. And that's, I think, what Denise was looking to do earlier, but wasn't converting the attacks. Yeah. So, towel break. Yeah, every six points they can towel down. So, Tintin's taking a timeout here, Colin. Oh. Um, she's obviously 7 3 up there, and she's just lost a couple of key points. So, perhaps doesn't feel confident in, in a particular area. So, taking the time to, to go over back to a coach to, to figure out what the next steps are. Yeah. So, do you think that was Tintin who called that, or dad and coach Charles? I'm not sure actually. I didn't I, see. I, I did no. see Tintin do the sort of tea timeout sign, so I'm wondering if it was uh, was actually Tintin. I'm always wary as a as a coach to time out a player. Generally speaking, I'd like to stay as self dependent as possible. Yeah, well, players like to use timeouts <coughs> at very different times in the match. Some like to use it very early, maybe in game sort of two. Um, some will wait until you know nine nine in the seventh game. So it really depends on on what the player prefers. Yeah, all sorts of theories about when a, when it's good to take your time out. Time! And some theories about not to. Yep, and um, players will get one time out a game. So that's Tintin's time out done. 7 3 up, but then Denise took two on her serve. And now 7 5 Tintin serving. Oh. Two games all, first to four. Flick return, just hit the top of the net and then off the table. So 
See the smooth black rubber, very fast Six and very eight. spinny rubber, high friction. A bit like a Formula One car tyre. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Not cheap, but cheaper than that. <laughs> That's a good backhand, wide of Tintin's backhand. So just from serve and follow up, that, that's she's picked up those a few times. I'm sure that's what she intended from the off. Missed quite a few in the first couple of ga in first, first game and third game, I think. And again, not converting them all, but Tintin's just giving it a little bit of wrist on the return of serve, just to keep Denise guessing about how the ball's going to bounce and how it will just fade as it bounces off the table. So two serves to take the this the fifth game. Can't take the first one, Tintin. You can hear Denise crying out, self-encouragement. Same serve again, but Denise coming across, not too wide. And then Tinted doing a beautiful job of catching Denise right under the crossover between the backhand and the forehand. So Denise can't play either shot well. Yeah, very effective. She's really moving it around the table, making it very difficult for, for Denise. She doesn't know where it's going. Okay, so two game points to Tintin Ho of Paddington and now of Nottingham. And there it is, 3-2 Tintin leads in this first women's semi-final. To come, we have the second women's semi-final, Charlotte Bardsley against Maria Sapsinos. And before that women's semi-final, we have the first of the men's semi-finals between Sam Walker and Andrew Bagley coming up. So for now, Tintin one game away from yet another women's final. She's won this tournament four times. Denise yet to win it, just off the table. The margins between them are very, very slight. Tintin has the experience. Denise has the youth and the keenness to take out what is now, uh, only 23 years old, the established England number one. Yeah, there's been a fantastic game so far. Yeah, I like that one, Denise played it a couple of times really wide of, of uh, Tintin's backhand and that won the point directly. So I've got a feeling that that's going to come into play again in the sixth game that's just coming up. So let's watch out for that. Denise playing backhand wide of Tintin's backhand, but possibly not first. She might come and bring her to the middle of the table first before she plays that ball. No doubt now I've mentioned it, it won't happen at all. <laughs> they'll, be never know. they'll be ahead of me tactically. <laughs> Okay, so back to the centre of the table for the backhand serve here, Denise. Yeah, so here she's able to get a much wider angle onto the forehand. There we go. So Denise needs to get these third balls to follow up from the serve. So first ball, the rally, second, third ball there. Caught away from the table. Oh, just enough. Didn't, uh, Tintin, I think, just, she just roll her ankle slightly. Yeah, that didn't look very good, actually. She's lost her balance at least. I think she wasn't quite steady on the feet there. Great return from Denise. And then in wide of the backhand. Oh, just missed the switch. Yeah, that's very unlucky. Yeah. You feel that Denise knows the, a winning tactic and she's just struggling to just make it happen. Just not quite executing it, is she? Just missing the last, the last ball each time. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very, very quick, fast ball over the table from Tintin. Something she's known for doing very, very quick over the table. Yeah. You've got to flick the serve hard if you want to slow that and slow Tintin down there. But however this mi match goes, you can see that, t that there's more to come from Denise. You can see that um, she, she keeps working at these. She's going to be a real force to be reckoned with. Just off the end. I don't know if they can see it down there. Yeah. Okay, so 4 2. Den Denise receiving. There's the flick again. Denise, just a shake of the just head. Slightly rushing that ball there. You think she's onto it too soon? 
Okay, now we've got Dene uh, a timeout on Denise's side. Yep, so this is what you were talking about earlier. So this is what you call a late timeout, a point at which the momentum's starting to fade away. If uh, Tintin wins this match, she wins this game, she wins the match. So Denise taking a timeout to just try and shake something up before it's too late. Yeah, hopefully Denise's coach has a, just one or two tactics maybe she can, he can uh, to give her to, to maybe push this into a, a, an extra game. So Zolly, staying calm, isn't he? Denise, to her credit, staying really loose. Look how calm they look. Don't look like yeah, they're struggling. Yeah, Denise is struggling. staying active on her feet, doing a bit of fast feet there. Making sure she's able to still, still move around the time. table. Yeah, have to keep the belief. That's why you take the time out, because you believe there is a chance. Absolutely, yeah. So the players get one minute in that time out. Tintin back at the table early, just standing quietly, Fighting. gathering her thoughts. She can expect a timeout to come. She's probably Tintin is probably predicting that that would come, so it won't be a surprise. It won't dislodge her thinking. That's good work from Denise. Well played. So she came back very well there. Read the spin and kept it strong. Top spin serve. Okay, clearly the timeout is the done something because Denise only one point behind Tintin now. That's the one that she was looking for. She got the, the, the strong third ball in just like she's been searching for, but then it came back, not strongly, and she missed the next yeah, one. Yeah, didn't quite recover quick enough there, Colin. No. That would be a shame for Denise. But it's great that we can see so much more potential in Denise still. Yeah, absolutely. She seems a little bit, she's come out that time out a little bit more aggressive. Mm -hmm. Which I think at this stage is, is important. Oh. Yeah. Now that ball j just hit the side of the table. N no one thinks it was an edge ball, but it just clipped the side there. So it will ca it, the ball will count as a good as a good shot if it hits any part of the table top, even if it's the edge, but not if it hits the side of the table. Yeah, you get a lot of contentious points like that, don't you, Colin? So is it a side? Is it an edge? Yeah, can be arguable. Oh. Well, Tintin just working away there, got the n got the difficult net cord shot back. As a player, it can sometimes be surprising when your opponent gets a net back and you're not quite ready for that next ball. Indeed, there it is. And look at that movement from Tintin. 6-7. Wow, well, well, I can't remember the score at the timeout, but even though Denise has missed a couple, she's back at 7-all. Yeah, she was 5-2 down in the set. Well done, Denise. So they've gone 5 2 up since then. Bring it back to 7 all. Similar serve again from Tintin, but that time with a bit of backspin. And that just draws the ball down onto the top of the net and off the table. So that's on a top spin serve. And now Denise lobbing. Forced away, couldn't quite get the ball to curve around. Yeah, that's a lovely third ball from Tintin there. Really nice, heavy, deep um, ball into, into Denise's backhand and that, that led her to, to win the rest of that rally. Yeah. Two points from victory for Tintin. Denise still positive, still dancing. And Denise three away from squaring this and taking it to a final game. It's been pretty tight, three games to two and nine all. This is getting very close now. Yeah, it pretty much couldn't be closer except that it's three, two up to four. So while Denise is a couple of points away from squaring it and taking it to a final game, Tintin is only two points away from taking this semi-final. Well read from Denise. Good sweep over the top from Tintin. Okay, so now we've got a match point for Tintin. 
one match point for the Londoner from Paddington. Good flip from Denise. Consistent play. Back end to back end. Denise takes it. 10 all. So normally up to 11, but at 10 all, it's going to be first to get two clear point lead. So this is not a match point or a game point either way. And it's got to be 12, 10 or 13, 11. Great blocking here from Tintin. She's under pressure from Denise, but she's getting them all back. Oh, look oh, at the width fantastic. on that one. Denise all the way around the backhand side, played it incredibly wide, and in the end, created the gap away from Tintin's forehand. I'd say that's the point of the match, probably, Colin. Yeah, and under, the, and under that pressure as well. So suddenly, we have a change, and it's game point to Denise Pyatt to take it to three games all. Will we see a final game? Oh, the margins are so tiny. Two millimetres higher, and that would have touched the net and gone on. 11 all. Can Denise save herself? Very, very good shot there, right directly into Denise's crossover. Great return Couldn't of quite serve. Quite move out the way. Look at that. Let's see the power in, uh, in Tintin's body, but also in her thinking. Match point, Tintin Ho, semi final of the women's singles. And she takes it. Denise did almost everything, nearly got it back to three all in a final game. But in the end, just keeping herself in front in the end, Tintin Ho 13 11 in the sixth game. And it's four games to two. Tintin goes through to the final. Boy, she looks relieved. She's relieved, yeah. I was really impressed with Denise there on the, on the, on the comeback, but uh, Tintin manages to take it and she's had a fantastic game there. And we'll look forward to her, her final. Nice smile from Zolly congratulating Tintin. Dad'll be happy. Tintin certainly looks like she's been through one. She knows she has. Almost went to the final game, but there she is. Four times women's singles champion through to her fifth final. Might be a more than a fifth final, but she's won it four times. I think it possibly might be. And Dad's still got something to say. He has, yeah. He's still giving us some feedback there, isn't he? Probably a couple of things to consider before yep. before she takes the final. Maybe a few things to, to have a to correct in the practice hall. Okay, so a couple of the rallies that we've seen here. There's Denise attacking with the forehand, but then just the, the following ball just missing. I think there's more to come from Denise. I think so, yeah. I think she's a really promising young player. She's still only about 20 years old. Um, a lot of the players in this country, the female players, are still very young, so have many, many years to come. Uh, and I think she could potentially win, win one day. Good example there. Tintin coming across to the forehand to play a backhand push and then having to recover wide to the backhand. Great athletes, both of these two women. Good fight from Denise. That was a that great was that rally, wasn't it? That was fantastic point, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> we like that one. Yeah. <laughs> and then match ball. And look at that. She looks so strong. And now you can see what she's been going through and while she's been holding herself strong. Absolutely. You can see Charles there still giving us some <laughs> feedback. So I think she'll go and have a break now and then probably get back in the practice hall for, uh, to prepare for the final.